Uh, hey guys, what's up? My name is Urosh and I'm here at the seaside uh, making this intro video and in this video we're gonna take a look at my song La Mer which was released on Amolanga label uh, about 20 days ago and I'm just gonna go through a bit of the elements and what my thought process was when creating the track and uh, yeah uh, I think Amolanga is one of the top labels top five labels in organic house uh, it's not all day I dream. I think all day I dream is the first and his last miracle melody of the soul. And I think there's one more. But uh, I'm quite happy it got released. Um, basically, I just sent them the track. I said, hey, uh, this is the track I made. They say, hey, I like we like it. We're going to use it for the summer sampler. And that was basically it. I had to make um, a couple of the uh edits right like a radio edit and stuff like that but but yeah that was basically the whole process and the song itself is pretty simple um but i like it it's i think it's a bit different a bit mystical and what is good i see people using it in their mixes um and that's i think always nice right i think we're gonna get to all their dream as well and other great labels but uh yeah also, I call the song La Mer because it has French vocals and La Mer means the seaside and it's where I'm at. I'm actually at Slovenian coast. This town is called Piran and yeah, hopefully you will like the track. I hope I recorded this correctly and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments and uh, talk to you soon guys. Uh, hey guys, I hope you can hear me well. So this is the track. Uh, La Mert is the project, I think Mert means, you know what, and I'm not gonna say it, uh, but yeah, this is a project. So let's just quickly go through all the important elements, right? Let's uh, listen it here, I guess, in the bass line. And I think, yeah, I can put the limiter on. So, yeah, maybe not that much, I'll just, I'll just use this limiter just to make it a bit louder i guess yeah okay that's okay uh so the kick i don't know what the kick is uh, uh, it's, oh it's from the hand i think yeah yeah it's his kick i think combination uh, the bass line let's look at the bass line so the whole the whole song is made in c melodic minor scale so when i mean that what is important is we're gonna use b here instead of b flat um as in the basic c minor right so it's going to be c melodic minor scale just to know let you all know um let's look at the bass the whole bass line just tells us the progression we're using we're going to go from c to a g right and that's basically it let's That's it. I think in the bass line uh, break, we have uh, we changed the chords, right? So we have the same shit as before, but then we go to an F here, C, uh, G sharp, and G. We'll take a look at that as well. Uh, let's go through the drums a bit. The drums, I don't know how many drums are here. Okay. <laughs> we have a hat. Whoa, it's not even a cute, as you can see. <laughs> Another hat, which is not even a cute. Uh, top, dr top drop. Uh, perks, clave, some percussion, and uh, some more perk, shaker, some more shakers, and a clap, and we also have a clappy thing. I don't know where the, uh, where the uh, start. <laughs> Let's put a kick in the bass. So that's it, I think. Mostly. Yeah, that's all the drums. Um, let's go through the instruments, right? The instruments are, I think, more cooler. Uh, let's take a look at the plug, right? So this plug is probably the most interesting, right? And we can take a look at the chords. Like I said, we have C minor chord. Then going to a G major chord, right? With an F, right? So it's basically like a G7 chord happening here, right? And that gives us a very, very strong pull, right? 
back to, to C minor. We're opening some stuff with a filter, I guess. Yeah. And then back to G, doing this stuff here. Look at the other plug quickly. Some support plug, I guess we will call that. We have a pad which plays the chords again. C, ma C minor to G, G major seven. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, we have a pad layer, I guess, which is just like the name suggests. Right? Uh, definitely Omnisphere. We have some choirs here which played. Uh, chords again with some variation to it and the gate makes this kind of sound right obviously right. let's look at the melody right I guess the melody is like we have leads here and we have this lead which plays this melody somewhere I'm not sure it was just copy pasted yeah okay here's a bit different and we also have this lead layer which I think is some kind of bells from diva right and I think we have more layers as you can see later or in this track I wanted a softer lead to start off things right and then be joined by this more open uh, kind of lead, right? So you have two leads that complement each other. First you start with the mellow one, then you go to the big one. Same, same uh, idea. Okay, let's also take a look at the lead layer three, which is here. Uh, and these are some kind of bells, I think. Yeah. And I think bells kind of really cool because they make the whole song a bit more mystical because, you know, bells, you know, it's like, okay, dude. <laughs> uh, so yeah, all the, all the leads together, I guess. And we also have a lead noise, which is just a noise. it we also have the some texture here some texture which is just texture and we have these vocals which I actually found on splice oh they're not here where are they dude come on uh, okay this is gonna take a really long time did I mess this up yeah I messed this one up but let me just do it like this mm, okay automatically nice these are the vocals I found and they're French. I have, no, I have no idea what she's saying. <laughs> but together. Like even without the drums, it sounds nice. You know? okay. of effects as you can see which I'm not gonna go it's basically just risers crashes noises some ambience here some con conga fills some snare roll stuff like that which is pretty self-explanatory right I want to talk about the piano here and the change I made in the break because I think it's kind of cool if a person listens to it um, because in the beginning of the track and also in the second part of the track we just have those two chords playing like we like I told you before so C minor going to G dominant seventh chord right but in the break I wanted something different right because it's a break we want to introduce something else right so I went from C minor chord here as you can see to a G major chord here like before same stuff but then I break off into F minor here 
five. Let me just uh, solo the piano. Oh, it's not gonna work, bro. <laughs> ah, yeah, maybe the library is not here, right? What? Oh, no, yeah, it's gonna work. Okay, I just have to open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, it works now. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Okay, yeah. Uh, went to an F minor here and then to a C minor here and then to an A uh, A flat or G sharp chord here right? and then to a G minor the G major like before so let's just listen to this part this part is the same like before but this chord and this one we have never used before so let's just listen to that part I guess also in the piano there was this thing which I really liked which is da -da -da, I think it's something like that yeah, da -da -da. Uh, I really wanted that and I really wanted to emphasize that we're in uh, that scale which I talked before which is like the C melodic minor and I really wanted to emphasize this B here right because it gives us that weird kind of vibe and as you can see we also end on the B right because I really wanted to pronounce that uh, so let's just listen to the whole piano section maybe with some strings if they work let me see if they work. Yeah, this should work. Okay, let's try it out. this violin and I think the vocals do their part right so let's listen to the whole section again that's kind of it hope you liked it uh, let me know in the comments check out the song on spotify obviously right and check out uh, all the songs from the amalanga sampler i will post the link down below and uh yeah thanks for watching uh obviously i don't have my camera on but yeah i'm super happy <laughs> so yeah thanks guys and uh yeah talk to you soon guys